times we talked as you just went through, you had ups and downs with optimism. What's it like to finally have this done? No, I think it's just a relief for everyone to know that uh, we're going to be playing this season. And um, you know, I think now focus shifts pretty quick to, to get ready. We know it's going to be a quick turnaround, and everyone's excited to get going. It'll be uh, quite the race here for however many games we end up playing. Did you guys get what you needed out of this deal? Did you get what you needed out of this deal as players? Yeah, I think it's good for both sides. I think there's uh, things both sides gained, and um, no, I think it's important that both sides come out of a deal feeling like uh, you know they're both happy with what they got. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that is the case. So you look at a lot of division opponents. It looks like, and this is a tough division. I think it's the best one in hockey. Is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know. I think it's going to be tough for everyone. Uh, I think everyone's going to have their own challenges, and um, we just, you know, we're pretty familiar with the teams we're playing against and who we'll see often. So um, I think that uh, it's pretty much the same for everyone, and not a lot of secrets. But uh, I think a start's always important. But if any time it's really important, it's uh, it's now. You know, you want to make sure we start on the right foot. So there was some thought that maybe you guys were rolling midweek here with the camp, and it looks like it's going to be the weekend now. Is that kind of disappointing? <laughs> I'm happy we're starting. I'm not going to complain about waiting a couple extra days after it's been this long. But I mean, the sooner the better. It would be nice to get as many games in as possible. But um, I'm not going to complain about an extra couple days. Uh, you know, it's, it's worth the wait. We're all excited to get going. Have you guys been told for sure January 19th or a specific date? No, I haven't heard a date myself. Uh, I know there's been some kind of going around. We'll have to see. Wait for the votes and wait for everything to kind of get. Uh, to get finished, but um, yeah, I'm kind of here around those days. Does it help that your team, the roster for the most part, is in place? Yeah, I think being familiar with, with guys and guys being familiar with the role helps uh, in having a good start and understanding what you have to do. So there's not really a, a long familiar process for, for guys, but um, you know, there are new players that are going to join us, so um, you know, we're going to have to make sure that. Uh, we're executing pretty good right off the start, and I think it's it's normal. There'll be a few more mistakes than maybe typically you'll see at the start of a year because of you know no preseason. But uh, we have to start start well. Do you feel like this was an even longer lockout for you, Sid, just because of everything that you've been through, all the games that you've missed recently? Um, I don't know. Through, you know we'll see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I think that uh, I think that it's you know it's something that I've been working hard as I can to, to do and. Um, to prepare for, so you know you can't really prepare for games until you've actually played them. But I've done my best to try to prepare accordingly, and, and hopefully uh, things will work out well. How do you compare your conditioning now as opposed to if this were a normal September start of camp? It's hard to say. I think you probably push yourself a little more off the ice, you know, coming into camp. But uh, I've skated a lot longer than I ever have, kind of going into a start of the season. So. It's, it's hard to gauge. Um, you know, I think the sooner you can get into games and kind of you know, get your feet wet, you know, the faster it comes back. So, you know, I, I'm just looking forward to getting started. And it might take a couple of games, but you know, we're gonna have to start well, like you said. Yeah, I mean, games become that much bigger, and um, that's exciting. We know we've all missed that. You know, that competition. We've all kind of craved that, so we're gonna. We're gonna get a good dose of that, you know, especially early on. So um, yeah, I think it's it's good for everyone, and I think it forces everyone to be uh, even more prepared than maybe typically we would be. Yeah, it's nice knowing that you're gonna have a schedule and a routine, and uh, we've we've had a bit of one here, but you know, not knowing um, is difficult. You know, not knowing uh, kind of when you're playing, and you get you get used to having that schedule and that routine, something to look forward to. So. Um, yeah, I think we're all kind of happy to have that back. Hey, Sid, Sid during the lockout, Penguins fans seem to really stick by the team no matter what they're going through. And obviously, what about the fans sticking by you guys, the team the players? Yeah, no, we appreciate that. We know that uh, you know, there's a lot of frustration, and um, you know, we were we were frustrated. I think everyone was, and it's a difficult situation, and it was. Uh, you know, it was ugly for everyone, so um, you know we're happy it's it's behind us, and we appreciate everyone you know sticking behind us, and we're excited to get started here. They said during this whole 113 day thing, you were you know you were pretty actively involved, pretty influential in bringing the water you know, water side together. And are you, are you glad now that after it's over that you played the role that you did, and maybe you had something 
you know, pretty big role in getting this whole thing sorted out? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I did anything different than, you know, a lot of guys. I think, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure that, um, you know, you stay informed and that you're involved. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, it affects all of us. And, you know, I love to play. We all love love this game. So I think we're all willing to, to do whatever it took to, you know, to find some common ground and hopefully, uh, you know, get a deal that everyone was happy with. So, um, you know, I know Adzi and, and Orps did a lot, of, uh, a lot of work behind the scenes. Adzi was in meetings, it seemed like, every week. And, um, you know, there's a lot of guys who uh, spent a lot of time and worked hard to, to make it work. So it, uh, it took a little longer than everyone would have liked. But, um, you know, I think everyone put a lot of time and effort into it, and I'm, I'm glad that it's done. Was there a, one real low point for you? Uh, I mean, New York was was pretty bad. Um, you know, I felt like we had a lot of progress over those few days, and um, you know, to have that announcement, the deal was off the table after you know those those long days and what you thought was progress. I think that was pretty discouraging, and you know, that followed by not a lot of talk um, didn't look too good right you know right at that moment. So um, you know, that's kind of part of the roller coaster of this whole process, and you know, we uh, we saw that throughout, but. Um, now, like I said, it's just uh, nice it's over and glad we can move on. So how's your conditioning? I mean, it's a pretty long summer, longer than normal. Yeah. Got a, lot of, a lot of practice in. you got to be as, probably as best shape you've ever been in a uh, training camp. Practice-wise, yeah. I mean, we've had low numbers, too, so you get lots of lots of reps in practice. So, um, yeah, I think game shape is you're never going to get that until you play games. So it'll be interesting uh, to play that first game to see how it feels. But, um, you know, we're all going to work hard and try to make sure we get as close as, as we can to game shape. But, um, you know, it'll be uh, it'll be probably a little bit uh, challenging in the first few games to, to get that conditioning. But I think once you get a few games under your belt, it comes back pretty quick. How much different was the framework of what you guys reached as opposed to what you left on the table in New York? How much different is is it pretty much the same? Yeah, I'm, it's pretty close to what was there in New York. Um, it just, I mean, does it make you want to pull your head a little bit? Because that was like a month where, <laughs> you know, you just Yeah, didn't... I mean, uh, there's no great explanation. If I had one for you, I'd, I'd give it to you. But I don't, you know, it's, it's negotiations, unfortunately. That's kind of the, the way it goes. And uh, like I said, it's, it's just a, an ugly thing to go through. And I wouldn't... Uh, no, wouldn't recommend uh, having having to go through that again. No, you know, it's it's difficult. You mentioned you know with trying to get a deal that both sides are happy with. You. Is happy the right word, or maybe just relief that you're maybe back at work? Is it more that than just yeah? I mean, happy with the, the deal. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's important. I mean, you know, there's uh, a lot of people who put a lot of work into it, and on both sides, and um, you know whether you like this whole situation or you don't. I think. There is, uh, you know, a lot of pressure on a lot of different people. So uh, the fact is that both sides can come out of it. Um, uh, you know, I think happy. Yeah, I think that's that's the right word because at the end of the day, we're gonna be working together here for a long time, and hopefully, don't have to go through this anymore. So um, yeah, I think I think that is important. But there's no doubt that the process has uh, definitely been been difficult and hasn't been good for anyone. You gotta be anxious to play. You came out better than you did in <laughs> five. What's that? I said you came out of better. Yeah. Players came out of better than you did. In yeah, five. yeah. No, I think you know uh, it was a long kind of long kind of thing to have to go through. But I think at the end of the day, uh, there were some things I think players felt strongly about, and they they stuck to that, and um, it was consistent. It wasn't like that changed in November. I think what we set out from the start was consistent, and we identified those things that were important to us, and uh, we stuck by it. So I think uh, you know that's that's also important. You got to be anxious to play everyone, but what are your thoughts on your first matchup against Philly? Um, yeah, it should be it should be intense. I mean, we've had enough uh, history at this point that um, there's no uh, there's no game that seems like it's it's not more intense than the other. So um, I think we're all looking forward to starting and, and excited to start. But those rivalries are are always a little bit bigger, so uh, that one's not any different. I'm sure it uh, it'll be pretty heated as always.